Participation matters. Time. There's been times I haven't felt like being in church, but I go because it's what I ought to be doing. But there's also times when I feel like not participating. Whatever the reason, I'm distracted, I'm tired, I just want to relax. It's not my thing, not feeling the music, not liking the church, whatever. But you know what I do? I make it a point to get up to that altar and put my hands in the air. Now, why do I do that? Is it a religious ritual I'm doing? No. I do it out of an act of obedience to the word of God that says lift holy hands to God. So I figure I can never go wrong with obedience, with first obedience. I can't go wrong with obedience, listening to God's word. So I come out of an act of obedience. Okay, God, this, I'm just, can I take you into my worship for a moment? Can I just take you into it for just a moment? On my bad days? Anyone ever have a bad day? Where's the bad day people at? Okay, I'm going to talk over here. I'm going to take you into my bad day worship right now. Gosh. I could be at the gym right now. I left my workout early. I had a pump. I had a pump going and I lost it because I had to be here at church. Okay, God. All right. Yep. Okay, what's it say? All right, now I'm going to just sing along with the words. I'm just going to do it. Because you said in Psalm 63 that when I praise you from my lips, you silence the voice of the enemy. Yeah, you know what? I bet the enemy is trying to distract me right now from my worship. So I'm just going to sing. I'm just going to slap the devil a little bit. I'm going to sing. I'm not feeling nothing. I'm not feeling nothing. Why are they dragging this song on so long? How many times do we hear the same chorus? Golly, if we could just get to another song. <laughs> no, you know what? God, just thank you. Thank you for breath. Thank you for life. God, thank you that because I have breath, I still have purpose for my life. God, thank you for purpose. Thank you for purpose. I, I thank you for people that you bring me in front of. God, who am I that you would bring me in front of people? Gosh, you actually call me an ambassador of Christ? <laughs> you say I, I'm, I'm your hands and feet, and everywhere I go, I'm a living epistle to be seen and read of men. Lord, that you've given me a testimony. Thank you for my testimony full of power that overcomes. I thank you, Lord, that you are almighty. I thank you that you are good. I thank you that even when I don't want anything to do with you, you still want everything to do with me. God, I thank you even when I'm not faithful, you are faithful to me. God, I thank you for your power that you're going to bring tonight in the rest of this worship. I thank you for the spirit of the Lord that is active and alive and living. I thank you for the baptism of the Holy Ghost that gives me power and authority and boldness to go out to this world and be a witness to people, God. I thank you for any person in this place right now that doesn't know you that would come to know you tonight. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for this worship team. I thank you, God, they give their lives away and their gift and their talent to serve you. God, would you let me do that? Would you let me give my gifts and talents? Because you said you'll multiply my talent and my gift if I would use it for you in some capacity. So God, show me. But I don't know how to use that for you, but God, if you'll show me, if you'll give me an opportunity to serve you in the kingdom by my gifts and talents through the things I love to do, God, I'll just give it to you. God, and I believe, according to Isaiah 119, that if I'm just willing and obedient, I'll inherit the good of the land. I thank you, Matthew 6, says, when I seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness, that you'll add all things to me. So God, would you add joy right now in your presence? Joy that's unspeakable and full of glory? God, would you add peace to my mind, peace that transcends my own understanding? Would you add hope into my life that there's an expectation that good things are coming my way? I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I'm fired up right now. I got caught up for a minute there. I thought I was all alone in my car. That's what it looks like. I don't know about you all, that's me. I don't have it together, and I don't pretend to have it together, but I love Jesus, and he has everything together. Your life might feel like it's in chaos, but the kingdom of God is not. He's on his throne, and everything's going to be okay. 